Hello and welcome to today's story time. Today we are going to read to you I Really Want the Cake by Simon Phillip. And this is a book that I've read with my class before and they really enjoyed it, so hopefully you will all enjoy it too. Alright, move away from the camera, you. Definitely not camera shy, are you? There's a smell I can't ignore. It's wafting through the kitchen door. It's time for me to find out more. I think it might be cake. <gasps> It's on the table sitting there. I cannot help but stop and stare. And now I'm really quite aware. I think I want the cake. <gasps> Don't she eat it. She, she, she might want it though. She really, really wants it. She won't be able to contain herself. The decoration's just so neat. The icing looks like such a treat. It smells so chocolatey and sweet. I really want the cake. I want it now and though I'm small. I'm sure that I could scoff it all. But Mum has written in a scroll. You must not eat the cake. Aww. I'd be a fool to disobey. To eat the cake is not okay. And maybe if I go away, I might forget the cake. Hmm. I'm really trying to be strong. To eat it would be very wrong, but I've... I've wanted it for so long. I must forget the cake. Three hundred and ten, three hundred and eleven. Yeah, catchy. That thought has made me rather glum. And all I wanted was one small crumb. <laughs> I might ignore the moat from Mum. <gasps> it going to wait? No. I'm going back for cake. Hey, oh, no. Don't even start it. Oh, she's going to ignore the moat. For, oh, that would be so naughty. She's going to ignore that note. It's still there waiting nicely placed for me to have a little taste. To leave it would be such a waste. I'll, I'll only lick the cake. Yeah, I'll just lick it. Oh my, oh my, what a delight. I can't control my appetite. Somehow, the lick becomes a bite. Just one more slice of cake. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. And, and no. Look what she's done. I know I've not been very wise. And what I've done, I can't disguise. I might have to apologise because... I ate the cake. I ate the cake. <gasps> she ate it all. I can't don't believe tell. it. You have to tell Mum if you don't want to tell her. Oh, yeah, she'll have to, otherwise she'll get into trouble. But she's already going to be in trouble. What's she going to do? She ate all that cake and Mummy said no. What do you think she'll do? Let's find out what she does. Oh, silly me, what have I done? Oh, I'll have to make another one. I guess it could be kind of fun. I've never baked a cake. Oh, she's just going to make another one. <laughs> I need some eggs. I'll start with mm, six. It's sure to be a tasty mix. There's nothing that I cannot fix. Oh, it's easy baking cake. <laughs> oh, I'll whisk and beat and stir and shake until my arms begin to ache. Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to break. It's hard to make a cake. Oh, dear. It's not going to plan, is it? No. <gasps> Lock. Oh, no. My gosh, the mess, it's everywhere. Caitlin, this way, darling. It's up the walls and in my hair. When mum sees this, she'll faint. I swear it's chaos making cake. Look at that mess, boys and girls. Look what she's done. How has she managed to... Look, there's chocolatey footprints <gasps> all the way up on the top of the oven fan. How has she got it up there? And on the cupboards. Handprints up there. On the top of the fridge. I've done the Oh, look gloves. at her hair. Yeah, on the gloves, everywhere. How has she made that much mess? 
Oh my goodness. Mummy is not going to be impressed. And she's got wet on them boots. Just <laughs> yeah. got water everywhere. It's just food and bits and chocolate all over the. What a mess! Hi, mom. I've come here to confess. I'm sorry if I caused you stress. And yes, I've made a lot of mess. But hey, I made your cake. Huh? 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 Hey. What do you think? Do you think that looks tasty? Would you eat that cake? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks all right, doesn't it? It's got to. Lots of chocolatey strawberries and, oh, it's got some oranges with icing on top. It's not too bad for a first effort, I suppose. I don't know if that excuses the mess, though. If I was mummy, I don't know if I'd be happy about that mess. Oh, and look here. It also, at the end, that was a good story. It shows us how we can make our own cake. Look. So if you want to have a go... Of okay. making your own chocolate cake at home. If you take, get your mummy and daddy to make a little screenshot of this. Yeah, I'll make. Take a picture. You, I'll make the there you same go. one what she made. Yeah, you can try and make the same one. But without breaking it. But without breaking we, everything. Yeah. But then it will be much, much more clean and yes, much. Yes, it won't be as messy, will it? No. It won't be a messy cake. It'll just be a tidy cake. Maybe you could get your mummy and daddy to help make you your one, so you don't make as much of a mess. Yeah, you have like her, cause she didn't, mm. cause her mummy and daddy didn't they watch her. There. They didn't watch her, and she made lots of mess. Yes. If you're going to do any baking or cooking in your house, you must make sure you get your mummy and daddy to help you, because you don't want to make lots of mess. I always make cakes with my mummy and daddy. Yes, you do. We all love making cakes. And hopefully you like making cakes as well. It's something to keep you occupied whilst you're not in school. But so I... have a little go of making yourself a cake. And we will and... see you next time. Shall we see them next time? Yep. Say bye. 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 bye.